we cannot decide always what we go through. We don't have power over that. But you can decide how you go through that situation. You can decide how you go through that situation. Amen? Everybody is facing different challenges. One thing that I've realized by studying the Word of God, that every time you read in the Bible, fear not. It's actually just another way of saying, have faith. Have faith. People have faced things in the Bible where God had to talk to them and say, fear not. People give things different names and they say, well, it's just a challenge. It's not a problem. And it's good to have the right kind of a confession. But sometimes even if you call something a challenge, it's still a problem. Hello? Amen. Sometimes things that you face are fearful. And fear wants to grip your heart. A David facing a Goliath, a giant, was something that was very real. But the Bible gives us instruction not to fear. Fear not. In whatever situation you are facing right now, there's no need for you to fear. Amen? Fear. I've heard people say, preachers when they preach on it, fear. False evidence appearing real. But whether it's false evidence appearing real or not, the most important thing that you have to realize is, is that you as an individual, you have two natures. You have a human nature and you have a godly nature or divine nature. Just think quickly, Peter. Peter, the one minute, his divine nature acknowledges and confirms that Jesus is the Christ. Jesus said, who am I? Peter said, you are the Christ. He says, this revelation came from my father. My father. This is a divine revelation and your divine nature is speaking now. The next minute, in the same chapter, Jesus says, I have to die. And Peter calls him aside. Says to him, no, sorry, you cannot die. And Jesus had to say to him, Satan, get behind me. That's his human nature speaking. His human nature opposing the plans and the purposes of God. Because he was thinking, my Jesus cannot die. Instead of thinking, what would happen if Jesus does not die? So whenever you look at a situation, remember, you have a divine nature and you have your human nature. Many people will give you good advice from a human point of view. He was giving Jesus good advice from a human point of view. Imagine Jesus had given in and taken the advice from a human point of view. I mean, Jesus lost focus. And he did not die on the cross. We are here to celebrate the fact that Jesus did not lose focus. Because of the fear that gripped Peter's heart, he lost focus. This teaches us that fear has the ability to cause you to lose focus. Fear can paralyze a man and a woman that they are not determined anymore. A matter of fact, fear is a more deceptive enemy than Satan himself. Fear grips a man's heart or woman's heart and paralyzes them that they cannot get up and do what they are supposed to do. We are here to celebrate the fact that focus was not lost. Amen. You know, many people, many people have submitted to their fears. The first question you have to ask yourself, am I a born-again Christian? Am I born from above? Why is this important? Because remember, as a Christian, as a born-again believer, you find yourself in the realm of victory in Christ Jesus. With the price has been paid in full for everything. So if you're a Christian, you find yourself in the realm of Christ Jesus, a realm of victory. Remember, David that faced Goliath. Goliath was bigger than David. He had threats that he was shouting out at David. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to feed your flesh to the birds of the air. Is what Goliath said. 
But Goliath found himself in the realm of defeat and failure. Was, his, was relying on his own strength and his own ability. Whereas David found himself in the realm of victory in Christ Jesus. He said exactly the same thing, but he had heaven backing him. And who had the victory? David had the victory. But from a natural point of view, he had no chance to win that battle. But trusting and relying on God, he knew it was not a personal battle. The battle was against God. Saying, you don't know what I'm going through. You don't know what I'm facing. So I have a lot of respect for your message, Pastor, but you have no idea what I'm going through. Do you know, let me tell you something. Most of the times when pastors are preaching messages, because they are me preaching them firstly to themselves. Amen? Amen? Because I have to believe like you have to believe. I have to say to myself, there's no reason to fear. Mm -hmm.